So I received a few messages from some of you about the comments I made earlier about how I thought the current crypto valuation crisis was inevitable because cryptocurrencies in general, they represent a self-perpetuating information regime where it was inevitable that the valuation would be insanely escalating towards a point where it will be so mismatched and deviated from the intrinsic value and the actual state of development that at some point it is going to be corrected in a very dramatic fashion. Now, some of you ask me, what do I mean by the self-perpetuating regime? Now, it isn't really a secret that there are a lot of people who think many, if not actually most of the cryptocurrencies, they are very much, very much represent and resemble Ponzi schemes. Now, whether you believe that is the case or not, the way that most, if not all cryptos, are constituted as an informational regime, the way that information is actually conveyed, is actually very concerning. And it shows these red flags, but the way it's constituted guarantees that the valuation would always skyrocket, or at least be propped up as much as possible. And yet it will be so deviated from the truth and not many people know about it before it's too late. Now, the, why, the reason why I say that is this. Think about it. Let's try and break down pretty much the informational regime for it surrounding any of the cryptos. The first thing you need, really, overall speaking, the first thing you need is an exciting technology that's still developing that not many people know about. And of course, in this case, we're talking about blockchain and many of its iterations. But think about it. Many of the people who are actually into crypto right now that you know, perhaps even yourself, not many of them actually know how the blockchain works. Some of them don't even know what the blockchain is. And a lot of they rely on hearsay. But not many of them actually know how the technology works. They don't know the state of its development. Perhaps actually most of them, they've not even read the white paper. And they have no idea how this technology actually really works, how it's being developed, its current state of development. There's a lot of information, informational symmetry surrounding cryptocurrencies in general. And it's so evident when you look in almost any of the projects or tokens, even NFTs in this case, there's just so much lack of information there, especially for the people. They don't understand it. And again, it is a very complicated technology. It might be quite hard to actually explain and for many people to understand. But that's the first thing. You have this exciting, developing technology that not many people understand, which means that you could actually potentially prop it up in really any single way, because again, the possibilities are limited. We're talking about a new technology that's developing. The way it could develop, at least especially when you have much information, could be practically anything. And that is really the case, I think we can see with many of the tokens that are being valued right now. There's a lot of reliance on this idea that the future development is limitless, but truly how it's being developed, there's no transparency and there's no understanding. The second thing is you market these technologies, these tokens, these projects, in a very sexy way. Think about the common narrative of cryptos. The ideas behind that are very sexy. Potentially anybody, you and me, the lay person on the street with the omnibus, anybody could potentially become rich, very, very rich. And it's actually not limited to anybody. Everybody could be a part of it. It's equally accessible to all. Very, very democratic. Certainly appeals to the sort of PC culture of today, at least the political um, temperature at the moment, the climate at the moment, and not to mention really other ideas that's being marketed too. It's very much against the establishment, against the you know the established order of big money, big corporation, the big man, us, the little people. We could potentially actually be part of this and overthrow the entire system, and it's equally accessible to all. We represent the new money. This this idea. All these ideas are being marketed. It's very sexy. It represents a better way of actually functioning a currency system, better way of actually handling our finances in the future. All these really sexy ideas are being marketed outright, oftentimes unsubstantiated, but being marketed regardless to this technology that is developing. So all sorts of possibilities that not many people know about. So that's one and two. Third thing is you create a self-perpetuating informational culture. And this is the more interesting part that I've had a lot of experience with because I've shared a lot of ideas about cryptos. But basically, you create a lot of interesting culture that surrounds the information itself, that guards the information and narrative that's being developed. So I'm talking about, for example, this overall sense of us against them when it comes to crypto. For everybody who are in the know of crypto, 
they represent this millennialism, these people that will be saved. They understand how new money is going to work and anybody else who says otherwise, they're against us. And of course, I've had experience with this. I have actually shared thoughts and concerns about crypto since over a year ago on YouTube. And in fact, one of my videos is actually highly disliked. I received a lot of hate comments, even people who actually called me a hater and even a dinosaur, just because I was actually somewhat skeptical and concerned about some of the developments of crypto. But this idea of us against them is one part of many of the facets of this informational culture I'm talking about. Other things like, for example, this idea that if you were to read the news, any development that is against crypto will be immediately written off by the supporters and the enthusiasts of cryptos in a very almost like zealous way where oh, all of that is fake news. And basically everything that we say is correct, everything else is fake news. Ideas like, for example, HODL, to hold on to dear life to the crypto itself, despite the fact that all the information might say otherwise, disregard them, perpetuate the information we have, and that is the informational culture that we're seeing. It almost resembles religion at many points, especially those who are so bought into it. They have this sort of informational culture that is very self-guarding, very self-perpetuating. And when you combine that to one and two that I've just mentioned, you start to see where this is going. Now, the fourth thing I would say is also you have celebrities and influencers that are often paid to actually promote many of the cryptos, the projects and tokens. But also a lot of them willing to do it by themselves because of course they bought into it. But then we are in the age of social media. So you have influential people compounding on this thing that's currently happening, this technology that's currently being developed. And then you start to have a lot of sense of hype, a lot of sense of, in terms of fear of missing out, a lot of people actually feeling like that. And social media only emblazons them even much more. And then finally, I have a very interesting situation in terms of time and context. The fifth thing being this, we just went through, at least the whole world, a pandemic, at least at the crux of it, at the very highest point of it, we're all locked down. The government provided us a lot of stimulus, at least most countries, so a lot of injections in terms of actual capital inflows allowing us to spend money. And yet a lot of us are actually locked at home. A lot of us, maybe some of us actually, in very dire financial circumstances, having lost our jobs. And in that sense, when you have all this money and all these things that I've just mentioned going on, you start to have money in pouring into this new developing technology I'm talking about. And overall, the end result is you start to have a valuation that keeps going up because of the information that surrounds it. It's so self-perpetuating. It's a perfect storm of all these different conditions that leads it to go up. But there comes a point where the valuation will not be matched to the actual value of the thing itself. Maybe it is actually not worth that much in terms of how it's actually being developed. And yet it is being perpetuated so, so passionately to this point where we see this insane valuation that honestly does not make sense. And that's my point, because a lot of it really comes down to sentiments that are very much driven by this self-perpetuating informational culture, that sentiments can also change very easily as well. Although the fact that it's very well guarded, but it can also change because largely it is sentiments. Sentiments that are highly irrational, that certainly are not really based in transparent, verified and really well thought out information analysis of many investors and how they should be. And so comes points where we see there's a lot of volatility. And it's almost so beautiful because again, we've seen all these crashes, the recent one being the most significant. You know, we've seen all these crashes and the informational regime that exists will try to write them off and will try to change the narrative in a way that is conducive to propping up the valuation itself. For example, previously, when there was a lot of actual boasting about how cryptocurrency represented the future currency, and a lot of these uh, financial, but also really analytical information that came out that proved it otherwise, all of a sudden we're told that, no, it is actually digital gold, a more a safe haven of wealth. And recently the Ukraine crisis and global crisis we're seeing economically speaking. Again, it doesn't really resemble gold anymore, and now it's more speculative tech. The narrative keeps changing, and of course, the informational culture will self-perpetuate and guard itself. But again, if we were really to think rationally about 
what is actually happening in terms of development of cryptos, it's easily seen that it is incredibly overvalued and there was no way that the valuation could be sustained.